Hello crochet enthusiasts! Welcome to the hexagon cardigan moss stitch crochet tutorial. The hexagon cardigan is traditionally done in the granny stitch, but the moss stitch, also known as the linen stitch, while trickier in the beginning, has less gaps, making your cardigan more dense and warm. So grab your hook and let's get started! Before we begin, let's quickly go over the materials you'll need for this project. A crochet hook, yarn, scissors, and a yarn needle. Once you have your supplies ready, we can move on to the first step. Make a magic ring. And for more detailed tutorial, I have a video coming soon. So once it's up, I'll link it here. Into the magic ring or the magic circle, you're going to make six sets of single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two. Okay, so chain two. Then you're going to go ahead and do it again. So that's your first set. Crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two. And what I'll do here is just pull on this length a little bit. So that's two sets. Got three more. Single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two, that's three, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two, that's four, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, Chain two, that's five. One more. And then you're going to count it at the end just to make sure you have all six sides. Yep. Single crochet, chain two. Okay. So let's go ahead and count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, slip stitch into your first single crochet and pull on that end piece and you'll want to secure that later so it doesn't come apart because just like I was able to there you can see it can easily come apart so you just want to yank on that and make sure it doesn't do that. So you can easily see your six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to continue working in rounds and you want to turn your work each time to prevent the project from looking leaned over. Go ahead and start with a chain one in order to raise the stitch height and you'll start in the corner and we'll go ahead and turn our work now and you're going to start in that first corner with a single crochet chain two and a single crochet okay and that's how our corners are going to look okay and then you're going to start your first side and you're going to use the chain space right here so start with a chain one single crochet chain one okay that's your chain two so you're going to do single crochet chain two single crochet and then we're going to go to the next chain one and we're going to do chain one single crochet chain one get your next corner here here you go, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, okay, and then chain one and a single crochet into that next chain, and then a chain one, and then a single crochet into the corner with two chains, single crochet, chain one, single crochet into that first, that little chain, and then chain one, and then you're in another corner again, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, your side here again to the chain one space, chain, single crochet, chain one, and here you are, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one. You have one more chain one space here single crochet chain one 
and then you're going to go ahead and slip stitch into your first one which is that single crochet into the corner space and then we'll turn our work okay so chain one to raise up your your height and then you're going to go into that first see now they're a little easier to see you can see your chain one's a lot easier when you start working it so single crochet chain one single crochet chain one corner space single crochet chain two single crochet chain one next space single crochet chain one next space single crochet chain one corner space single crochet chain two single crochet chain one next space single crochet chain one next space single crochet chain one corner space single crochet chain two single crochet chain one next space single crochet chain one single crochet chain one corner single crochet chain two single crochet chain one space single crochet chain one space right here single crochet chain one corner space single crochet chain two single crochet chain one okay single crochet chain one single crochet chain one single crochet chain two in the corner single crochet chain one slip stitch into that first single crochet that you made okay which is right here just slip stitch into that and then turn your work chain one and just do it all over again starting with that first chain space right in front of your turned work so as you can see it's already starting to fold and bend and that's normal because what you'll do is when you make your hexagon cardigan you're going to start folding it like that and it's going to keep growing 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 and so you'll attach the two pieces and just imagine that you have one of equal looking right here so it looks like a t and this is a little arm coming out here show my progress with you of my hexagon cardigan I'm working on and it works up so fast it's fun and then this yarn is just so soft what is this yarn it's called I love this yarn super soft super savings um, it's called moody mosaic I don't think they make this kind anymore though unfortunately anyway here's the color it's really pretty so it's gonna be my little daughter's hexagon cardigan So I thought I'd lay it out and show you what it looks like with the pieces here together and I went ahead and did both the left side and the right side and here they are together I haven't finished or started on the black portion and then next I'm gonna be working on the hem and then the cuff once I completed the two halves I seamed up the back 
and then I seamed up the shoulders. And now I'm adding length to the bottom of it. And I'm adding length using the same stitch I used before, which is the moss stitch, consisting of the chain one single crochet into each chain one space. After I completed adding length, I went ahead and added a double crochet border to the entire bottom part of the jacket as well as to both the left and the right side panels. I completed one full round of double crochet. In the corner, I did a dip crochet, two chains, double crochet. Once you've completed your one row of double crochet, let's work on the hem. So, what I ended up doing was alternating front post double crochet with back post double crochet. I did one round all the way around, and then I did not turn my work and did two more rounds of front post. Front post and back post double crochet. So for the cuff, I did the same thing. I did one round of double crochet, and then I went ahead and did front post double crochet and back post double crochet. Three rounds total, alternating between the two. So I thought I would share with you the finished hexagon cardigan that I made for my daughter. It was made using the moss stitch instead of the traditional granny square stitch that you normally would use with hexagon cardigan. And the reason I did that was because the granny square, square stitch usually has a lot of holes in it and this one is much more dense and it makes it much more of a warmer type jacket for her. And then on the borders and the hem I used a double crochet front loop back loop alternating stitch. And same with the cuffs, it makes it nice and stretchy for her to be able to put her hand through there, be comfortable. So I used two colors, this variegated yarn and then black yarn and matches perfectly. And I purposely made it a little big on her so that she can start wearing it in a few months because now that it's almost summer, I don't think she's going to be wearing it for a while. Uh, but I tried to try it on her today and it was really cute. So this is the hexagon cardigan using the moss